So back in October, I was part of a project for Wilderness Scotland. Hey everyone! All right, finally I'm sharing the video I made with Wilderness Scotland. I'm gonna give you some behind the scenes footage and then we'll dive into the full video. I hope you enjoy! Welcome everybody! Happy almost New Year! <laughs> I can't believe we're almost to 2022, uh, but I just wanted to end the year on a good note, on a positive note, um, because, you know, in the last couple videos I shared that I've been struggling, um, I've been burned out, I've been exhausted with all of my project deadlines, and it's, it's hard, <laughs> but I'm getting through it. I'm taking a little time over the holidays to rest, and I'm just really excited to find some creative energy again and get back to painting. Um, but I'm holding off on that for now. I'm giving myself time to just totally relax and rest, and a lot of that is thanks to all of your encouragement and the comments you've left on my last couple videos. I very much appreciate your support, your encouragement, your generosity of spirit. I just, I'm very grateful for this community. I know I say that all the time, <laughs> but it's true. Um, and so today I wanted to share something a little different. Uh, some of you might already know about this project. I shared bits and pieces of it in some previous uh, studio vlogs, and this was a very exciting project for me although I will admit that I was definitely outside of my comfort zone. Okay, so what is all this about? Let me explain. <laughs> so back in October, I was part of a project for Wilderness Scotland. Wilderness Scotland is a company here that specializes in travel adventures, so you can go kayaking, rafting, dolphin, whale seeing, sighting, viewing, <laughs> um, climbing, so many, just the massive variety of exciting things you can do in Scotland. They help arrange uh, really fun trips for people. And they're also really committed to protecting the environment. And they also do lots of beautiful photography and put out inspiring videos. So definitely make sure you go check out their YouTube channel uh, and their website and blog because they post videos on Vimeo as well. And so how did I get involved in this project? So I had reached out to a videographer named Rupert Shanks, and I love his video style. He's so creative, and um, I feel like he really captures the spirit of his subjects. And I had been wanting to hire a videographer to make a video that shares my process for going out, finding locations, painting outside, uh, and just like really sharing what I truly care about and how I do what I do. Um, and you know, it's really hard to film myself, even though I do that. All of the videos you guys see on my, my YouTube channel, I film and edit, and it's really hard and it's exhausting. Um, so I just wanted to have like this moment where I didn't have to do that side of it. <laughs> I wanted to have um, someone who's good at what they do, who has a creative eye, film and edit and do all of that side of it for once. Um, and then I could use that video to like help promote my content and classes and just a variety of things. So anyways, I found Rupert and instantly fell in love with his style. And so we had been talking about maybe doing a video in the autumn. Um, and then in October, he uh, told me about this project he's working on. Uh, with Wilderness Scotland on about creative business owners, creative people who immerse themselves in nature. And the project is to go film these variety of creative people uh, doing what they do out in nature and sharing their story. And of course, I was like so honored <laughs> to be asked to do this. I was so honored to be part of this. And so the video I'm going to share today is 
what they made, what he made. And you can go read it on the Wilderness Scotland blog and watch it on their blog. Uh, I'll share the links in the description. So I'll give you a little like behind the scenes stuff before and then we'll play the full video. Uh, man, like I am so anxious when I'm talking to people in interview situations. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't know how he got anything coherent out of me. <laughs> But it just goes to show you that he's he's very good with people. Uh, so if you need a videographer, hire Rupert. <laughs> so this was a huge leap forward for me, for for my confidence, for my um, just kind of showing myself that I can do something that I'm scared to do. It was actually a really big uh, time of growth for me as a person, as an artist. Oh, and before I go, I once again just want to thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for being part of my community. Thank you for being so kind in the comments and encouraging. I know I always say this, but I will just forever be grateful. It's just so, it's so heartwarming and your comments lift me up so much. So thank you. I know I can't reply to every single comment. I try to, um, but I always read every single comment. And when I'm having moments where I'm just really struggling, I read the comments and it just, it really lifts me up. So thank you. And of course, happy new year. I will see you in 2022. All right, here's the video. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> So what you're watching now is a little moment where Rupert was getting some B-roll, some different angles and close-ups of me painting in the forest, which was kind of awkward, but is also kind of funny to watch now. <laughs> and then we went back to my home where we got ready for the interview. We did that, we had some lunch. He also recorded me painting some of my Pathway series. And then we headed to the coast. lucked out with weather because we had so much mood. It was off and on pouring, so we had like 10 rainbows, weather systems moving in and out. It was just incredible. So between the rain, I was walking around, I was painting, I was drawing, and it was just so cool. Painting Scotland is my deepest drive. It's being out in nature, but also just expressing the beauty that I see here. It's, it's amazing. The energy I feel here is so different than anywhere I've been in the world. I don't know how else to describe it, except that it feels like a very ancient energy in some way. When I first moved to Scotland, it was around the time that I was still trying to figure out what I was doing with my art. and. I just really hope that my paintings can do it justice. But ultimately, I really just want to inspire people to love and protect nature. I've always just struggled with anxiety my whole life. Before I even knew what it was, I just knew it was hard. <laughs> and when I found art, it was this immediate relief. I could focus all my energy quiet my thoughts and put everything into one project, one painting, one drawing at a time. It's like my escape. If I'm ever too stressed out, I can just go paint, I can go draw, and immediately, like I can feel my heart rate go down, I can feel my breathing calm down, and yeah, it's, it's like magic. It's like medicine in a way. Being in nature has a very similar calming effect. All of my senses are engaged, which is so interesting. It's, um, it helps me put my focus on something else rather than destructive thoughts or something that's bothering me. Uh, so I really like looking for patterns, uh, and it could be anything from the way branches line up or the leaves overlapping and creating these beautiful little shadows.
This place is so perfectly calming. The light is beautiful and it just fills me with the deepest sense of peace. <laughs> What it comes down to is that we're all connected. It's one rock. We all live on one rock. And I think the world needs as many artists as we can find. <laughs> I think everyone has something unique to say and it's beautiful to hear and to see someone expressing themselves. Mm -hmm.